Keith, over the last several days, we've been telling viewers at home, everybody at home now knows that today is your, your last day. They're as probably you tired of hearing about it. Enter retirement. Listen, <laughs> I think we're all in denial about it. We've been getting so many messages from all over Western New York and Southern Ontario. Bill as collectors, well. all kinds of people. <laughs> no, they want to wish you the best in retirement. <laughs> and joining us now on the phone is an old friend of yours. Hey, caller, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, I know that voice from anywhere. Commander Tom, how are you today? I'm very good, Keith, and it's so uh, important it is for me to be a part of this. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there in person, but I'm there in the next best, uh, best way, I guess. Well, I can see you. You're sitting there in your living room in your easy chair with a nice glass of beer like you like to have every afternoon. <laughs> Well, I'm sitting in my easy chair. I don't know about the beer right now, but nonetheless, uh, I'm just uh, very happy and, 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 and so proud to have known you, Keith, and uh, watched your exploits down through the years. I, I'm sure that when you enter the door there at Channel 7, you never thought you would be involved in so many different stories that you covered down through the years. And I did a, a great job, too, one, one that will never be forgotten by many of us. Here well, in, thanks. in this area. Thanks, Tom. I didn't really know how long I'd be here, but uh, a lot of people think that I came when you, when Irv Rick and Tom left, but actually um, you and Irv and I worked together for 11 years before you guys retired, remember? Yes, it, it, it was. It seemed like uh, uh, a little longer than that. It but seemed I like guess forever, it, it, didn't it? It? <laughs> was, it, was, it was wonderful, though. It was, it was an experience that I shall never, ever forget. Well, We're you know what? With you. The, the, the famous story, I'll never forget the funniest story. Rem, remember when the uh, distributing company sent over three cases of Aunt Rosie's Loganberry drink and left them in the lobby for the staff. Do you remember that? I can't. No, I don't remember that. Ooh, well, that's a good story. Irv went out and took all three cases and put them in his office. So <laughs> you, and you saw that and you marched right into his office with a dolly and took two cases back and took them out into the newsroom. So it was pretty funny. <laughs> you remember that, that's marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you talk about all the laughs, you know, you guys just had such a good time together. Yeah, now I, like I used to say to Irv, Tom, when I'd see him, we had some fun, didn't we? Yes, we did, and it, was, uh, it wasn't all laughs, but there was an awful lot of laughs that uh, we enjoyed, um, all of us uh, working at Seven. So. Uh, anyway, it's uh, it's kind of a sad day uh, in in saying uh, so long to you because you've been such a great part of Channel Seven. But uh, I do have some wishes for you, and on behalf of my wife and myself, I want to just say to you in your retirement, best of luck, good wishes to you and your family, best of health, and enjoy your retirement. Well, thank you so much, Commander Tom. It's good to hear from you, and we do talk from time to time. And I will see you shortly because I'll have the time to do that kind of stuff now. Well, we've been uh, lucky to stay in touch. Okay, Tom, you take care, all right? Thanks for you calling too. in, thank Commander you. Tom. All right. We'll be back on the other side of the break.